This chapter 842 review. I just read the chapter like 10 minutes ago. My library actually did process thing right now. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. It was so good. Now, to start off, I will say uh, one problem with this chapter. It's something I can't really blame it for. Because it's such a common thing that authors do. But there's a, cu there's a couple of pages in this that are clearly there just to be there. So the ending can happen at the end. Because that ending scene needed to be the final scene of the chapter. But so we start off, we get some, you know, Luffy and Kragger fighting. Great fight, as it has been the entire time. Hilarious. One Piece is the only theory to can make a man and his biscuit army cool. Okay, I don't know any other theory that could do that. But Oda does it. It's great. No, but there's a, Nami had a line here where she said, you, you don't talk big because you're a bit bored you love Yonko. Luffy is the man who's going to become the Pirate King, and his hunger is limitless. So one, it's nice to see Nami say, see that, say that, like straight out, Luffy is the one who will become the Pirate King. Then we've seen it, we don't see, we haven't seen every single member say it directly. Like, at the actual line, Luffy is the man who will become the Pirate King. We've had people say, like, he'll be the King of the Sea. But I think this is the first time Nami has actually said, Luffy will be Pirate King. I know she has said he wants to be Pirate King, but this is the first time I think she's ever exclaimed that he will be the King. Which I really liked. No, but it was also hilarious. In that chapter, was the first time in the entire series, Luffy getting full. Like, Nami gloating, like, his hunger is limitless. He can eat as much as you throw at him. And he's like, what? Nami, shut up. I've been eating all night. And he's like, I can't keep this up. And, yeah, so all of that was great. All the stuff with Luffy and Cracker were great. I'll talk about that final scene at the end. No, but... In my opinion, this chapter of weak point was, for the first time, probably the Vin Smoke stuff. But it was just, the only interesting thing was, they put this mask on Sanji, that like, made his face appear to be healthy. Like, it made all his injuries go away, but he's still injured. It's weird. He, he, you can't see the injuries physically, but we know they're there. Like, he still feels pain. So it's not healed, but it's not visible. It, it's odd. Alright, it's a flame very well in the chapter, but I'm not gonna go over that, but I mean, you read it. No, but, yeah, it's like Oda trying to put science in one piece. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Kind of half and half in this situation. No, but, it's amazing. Riju pretty much said she's not gonna help Nanji. I, I'm assuming that's kind of like more of a front. Like, there are no second chances. I told you never to come back. She does ask him about his thing for women, which I like. So we finally found out why he does a shit, why he has his chivalry. Which is, uh, we already kind of knew it, but we kind of saw how it happened. Which is, that pretty much told him, men are not meant to kick women. That would actually not teach women how to cook. Because when you mess up and you're a student of death, he'll attack you, he'll kick you and beat you up. He said, I can't teach a woman because I, could not, I can't hurt a woman. That has been a rule in the universe since the time of the dinosaurs. And what, what he pretty much does, he pretty much says, if I ever find out you hit a woman, and you start like attack women, I am going to find you and slice off your balls and slit my own throat. And he's like, fool, please don't come a person all this by. So, so good. But that stuff was amazing. And yes, in case you're wondering, it's a law shirt. No, but such good stuff. But that stuff, it was just great to finally... See it. We know it was taught to him by Zeph. I, a lot of people were saying it was his mom and his sister. I know it was Zeph. Even Sanji was like, well, you know, when he was a kid, he was like, well, you beat up the woman. You beat us up. What's the difference? And Zeph was like, no, you never kick women. So when he answered greet you, he pretty much said the same thing Zeph said. I'm just following an iron rule of the universe. Amazing. But then we, you know, we get more dialogue between them. It's time for the wedding. They're going there and they're going to exchange gifts. The engagement gifts. Which is cool, I guess. We're finally probably going to see the wedding take place pretty soon, which is nice. We've been building up to this for about a year now. It was kind of nice that we're finally getting to that point. But no, the best part of this chapter is when we quit back to the Luffy and Cracker fight scene. Luffy does his muscle balloon or Kaniku Fusen. Which is muscle balloon in Japanese. And he... And this is the best part. This is the best part. He has a new gear. 
Now, let me double check. It is Gear 4 Tank Man Full Virgin. Now, it is awesome, and he uses his Gumu Gumu no Cannonball to send Cracker flying, and he quoted, I'm going to send you to the end of a new world, or something like that. Which is amazing, like, he won that fight. But this is my question. Is Tank Man something he can use at any time? Can he use it whenever he wants? Or is Tank Man something specific that he can only use because he's so filled with food? I'm assuming because I don't think Odo would introduce a new gear unless he Luffy could use it, you know, when he needs it. So I would assume myself that, you know, he can use it anytime. He has never had a need to. I'm going to assume it has a very bad side effect because he didn't use it up until now. He's been fighting Cracker for like 10 hours and he still hasn't used it. And he didn't even use it against Soul Flamingo. And even if Soul Flamingo isn't stronger than Cracker, he's still a lot stronger than Luffy. So I would assume if Luffy had a gear that could beat Soul Flamingo and didn't have any, and was just as dangerous as Gear Force, he would have used it. So yeah, I'm going to assume this gear has a major, major weakness. Now my thoughts on the design for it, I can't give an honest opinion on the design. I will say I love how impressive it is, how much how his body he covered with hockey. But I can't give an honest impression on the design that he was already filled with food when he used it. So I think we should wait, before we complain about it being ugly, we should wait until we see, see Luffy use it without, gear, without it being full, when he uses it in base. If he uses it in base and it still looks like that, then I may be a bit annoyed. But I'm assuming a lot of that fat is because of the food, obviously. Gears don't get rid of food. Like, that food is still in him. But yeah, this was an amazing chapter. The new gear was great. I mean, there isn't much. This is one of those chapters where a lot happened, but it was kind of like just. It, it, was, it wasn't anything to really analyze. It was just, this took place. They left to exchange gifts. Now, there was an interesting thing with Chopper and Carrot, where they were carrying these, like, bo bomb looking things. They looked like really old fashioned bombs. I don't know. I I have nothing to say on that theme, but you know, so they've been traveling around the mirror world. I think probably trying to find Luffy and Nami, being chased by Brulee, and I guess they've been running this entire time, which is impressive. Prot to Chopper and Carrot, but yeah, I mean, great chapter. And it must really talk about here. Everything was great, but just Gear Four Tank Man. I I I like it. And by the way, to anybody who was saying. You know, the big gear fork would have other forms. Congratulations, you were right. Let's just hope this isn't the, you know, design. I may do a video on this. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more videos. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.